This video is going to show you how you can use the EPIC website to support your child with reading while they are at home. The EPIC website has got hundreds of free books that your child can access independently and really easily. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the Google homepage and type in EPIC reading. And you need to click this first link at the top, EPIC, the leading digital library for kids. That will then take you to the EPIC website. When it's loaded, you need to press login at the top here. And then you need to press students and educators. Then you need to use this box here to enter your child's class code. Your teacher should have already read it or should have already sent you your child's class code. You just need to type it into the box here. When you've already typed it in once, your computer should save it so that you can just click on this link here. That will then from there, there are over hundreds of free books for your child to read easily. There will be a, an avatar or a picture for your child and their name underneath, along with the rest of the class. You just need to click on your child. And then that will take you to their own page. So on here, there are lots of different things that you can click. There are lots of different books that have been advertised. And then this bit here says for you. If you click on that bit, it will come up with lots of books that the website thinks are related to your child's interests or books that they might want to read. So the more books that your child reads on the website, the more this becomes tailored to your child's interests. Then if you press on this one here, this one is AR. Now, AR is the same reading scheme that we use in, in school. So your child will have been given an AR reading level and it should be inside their reading diary. So if you click on there, you can change that bit so that it relates to your child's reading age. And then it will come up with lots of different books that are tailored for your child's ability. And this bit here is just lots of different comics that your child can read. So they're a little bit different to books. Then you've got Read to Me, which is where the child can listen to the book being read to them. Then we've got videos, lots of different videos on there, lots of different educational videos that are really exciting. And then the last bit is audio books as well, where your child can listen to those books being read to again. Then if we go up to this bit at the top, you've got a search bar. So in that search bar, you can type in an author your, that your child might want to read, the name of the book, or maybe even a keyword. So if they want to read a fairy tale book, you could type in fairy tale at the top. And it would come up with all the different books that are related to fairy tales. But if you do that, you do need to check that the, the level of the book is all right for your child. That it's not too easy and it's not too hard. Then this bit here is my library. Once your child has started to read lots of different books, they will appear in this recent bit here. So if your child's read a book and they want to come back and read it again, it might be in the recent bit there. Or if your child says that a book is one of their favourites, there'll be a button that they can press next to the book and it will appear in their favourites here if they want to come and get it. And then mailbox, this is for if your child, if your teacher's child wants them to read a specific book, they can send it to them in here and it will, it will pop up on here for them. And then the last bit is just this button here. If you press on that, you can just log out really easily.